be doing a lot of the organizing and some of these protests that a lot of these Republicans are seeing around the country. Bible, folks, have you noticed something, if I may interrupt myself here, but never fear, I never lose my place. Have you noticed who's not doing town halls? I don't think very many Democrats are at all, and that's really curious because it's the Democrats in the Senate. There are 18 Democrat seats that are really vulnerable. Folks, it is possible that if Trump moves his agenda and his base remains with him, and that those states that voted for Trump stay tied to Trump, it's possible the Democrats could lose enough seats in 2018 that the Republicans would have 60 seats in the Senate all by themselves. That's a distinct possibility. That's how bad it's looking. Now, I don't like these long-range predictions. A lot of these political scientists are already claiming that that's going to happen because they believe politics moves at a snail's pace and that when you have a major earthquake election like this, that it's unrealistic to expect another earthquake election in reverse. Like, it's, it's hard for them to think that in two years the same forces that came together to elect Trump could, could vanish. But I don't think that's not I, – I think that's entirely possible that could happen. I think it's totally up to Trump. Trump's all by himself on this. He's got no support. He's got everybody in Washington – I should say everybody – the vast majority of Washington 